At number nine, it's all over your car, and if you're an allergy sufferer like me, it doesn't take too long to see that pollen is in the air. But what do all the pollen count numbers mean exactly? And more importantly, when should you avoid going outside? Well, let's break it down. Spring is in the air, and we all know what that means. It's hard for me to go outside. Itchy eyes, runny nose, sore throat. Stuffy, congested. That's right, allergies. We've all seen the weather reports. Something else we've been monitoring very closely, the pollen count. But what exactly does that mean? Well, the pollen count typically is an average. So the number that we're actually seeing there actually translates to like 1,377 particles of pollen per cubic meter of air. And typically, the higher the number, the worse it is for allergy sufferers. And when that pollen enters your system, it's not a pretty picture. It triggers allergic reactions in the eyes and nose, sometimes even reaching into the lungs to cause an asthma attack. Not only can you see an immediate reaction, which occurs within minutes, the minute you go outside, but then four to eight hours later, they can start having problems again. If you're suffering, just know it could be worse. A study by Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America names Atlanta the 44th worst city for allergies. It's our climate. The trees like it. The uh, plants like it. They uh, produce more pollen when they're happy. But happy trees and plants don't mean you have to suffer. People with allergies know there are a few things we can't do without. And some tricks of the trade. Pollen is highest during midday, so try to go outside only during morning or evening hours. Also, know your allergy. For every type of pollen, there's a medicine to provide relief and keep your allergies in check. It's not as bad anymore. <laughs>